Hitchcock loved fossil fish. I love fossil fish. I found a few. And he found dozens. But an even more earth-shaking, literally, were the, were the running animals. He found footprints, many, many footprints. Um, this is a Audi. It's convex. He goes, this is the layer of mud that filled the layer, had the footprint, the, the innie. One, two, three toes, symmetrical, middle toe the strongest. Right away, Hitchcock said, looks like a bird. That's not good enough. That wasn't good enough for Hitchcock's analytical mind. He wanted to prove that a bird and only a bird could make this track. And he broke the code of footprints. Occasionally you get a little, little dimple here from a short inner toe. Inner toe, second toe, third, fourth. And in the very best footprints, there were pads underneath where bones met. So Hitchcock could bring back, could resurrect, so to speak, the bones that had disappeared, had rotted away 200 million years ago. This is how he did it. First toe had a pad and a claw. That's two bones. Second toe, two pads and a claw, three bones. Middle toe, three pads, a claw, that's four bones. Outer toe, four pads and a claw, five bones. So the code is two, three, four, five. There's one class and one class only today running around that has that code in its feet. Not lizards, not crocodiles, not toads, not kangaroos, birds and only birds. So Hitchcock could announce to his startled but believing colleagues, the Jurassic was ruled by a whole subclass of ground running birds.